Our vision is for a school of 4 to 16, all through school, that develops creative learning in, in all subjects. Making things, not just making artifacts, making paintings or making performances, but making ideas. My name is Dave Strubwick. I'm delighted to be head teacher at the School of Creative Arts. Um, it's a kind of real privilege, a sort of chance in a lifetime really, to be able to grow a school from scratch and to be able to develop something that is so inspiring with a group of people that are um, amazing partners to be, to, to be working with. The approach to learning um, through making and through performance and through practice will take students across subject boundaries. And that's the really interesting thing about this school, that eventually we will develop learners who don't pigeonhole themselves, who don't necessarily see that there is a difference between art and science. To my children, what's really important to me is that they have a across-the-board experience. Um, I'm really looking forward to um, my son joining Plymouth School of Creative Arts and also um, I'm really interested in um, how the school's going to grow and develop and I'm very interested in um, the creative curriculum, what it's going to involve and the potential for the future. One of the things which is key for um, the curriculum is that it doesn't follow the usual profile. We want a far more holistic experience so that the students will be involved in, in making, involved in doing, involved in far bigger topics. Through that they'll learn their maths, their physics, their chemistry, their you know, design, um, history and so on. And it's, um, it's a far more integrated model than the model that you usually see in a, in, a, in a normal school where everything's divided up into small portions. One of the things that we'll be able to access are some really amazing quality partners, both within the arts but in, in sort of a, a wider community. And that's so important if we're able to develop something that means that for the, for the children and the students, they're dealing with somebody who actually is a scientist, somebody who is a ceramicist, someone who is doing amazing things in the real world, because then it starts to become more possible for us to see those possibilities in, in our own lives. The opportunities that the young people are going to have through working with creative partnerships um, within the arts and within the other areas is going to not only give them opportunities to see people working in the real world, I think it's also going to give them opportunities to see how professionals work and ha experience all the different things that they experience. There's a huge amount of things that go on within the arts and beyond the arts in this part of the world. So the school's going to have uh, a fabulous performing space, a hall space, as well as a dance studio and, and drama studio. So they'll be the main areas that dance work will happen in, but uh, without a doubt we'll be going outside, we'll go all around the school. The school will have a multitude of spaces for, for dance to happen in. What we recognise is that having creativity at the core of our school means that children, students, as they move through the school, are going to achieve not just with us in terms of their academic results but in terms of those kind of life skills that people in business, people in universities are crying out for in terms of independent thinking, in terms of a creative approach, agility of thinking, those kind of things that, that will really make a difference. <laughs>